Today we're out at Progressive Systems. We're gonna do a machine alignment today. Perfect example for you guys to show portability on the machine and uh, show how we're gonna construct a coordinate system that's gonna be local to the machine. These guys make an amazing piece of equipment here too. This automation equipment will actually drag in a sheet metal truss and both of these guns will traverse in the Y component to a set location and they'll drill in a fastener. So what we have to check is that the traversing of these, of these guns truly is going in the Y direction or the Y component based on what the computer or the, uh, the program is telling it to do. So come along inside here with me. I'm going to show you how we're going to set up this plane first based on these, on these uh, rollers. I'll run right into my blank SAT file. We've got a fresh one up here. And I'm going to start with a measure of a cylinder. All right, Pharaoh says just do six, six points to, uh, to describe the cylinder. What we find out is to do seven as a minimum um, just to solve the axes or the vector of the axes appropriately. So what I'll do is I'll start on this cylinder here. And the way we're going to solve that cylinder is with three points at the start. There's one with the green button, two with the green button, three with the green button. Okay, and I'm not compensating at this point. I'm actually going to a, a distance further back, almost the extents of the arm, and I'm going to do three points in there as well. There's one, there's two, there's three. Now, still not compensating. I'm just going to go someplace in the middle, and I'm going to put just a couple more points on there. You can do up to 999 if you feel like you need to do that for cylindricity, but I'm gonna put uh, just a handful on there and then compensate away from my geometry. All right, and I've said this a million times and I'm gonna say it a million more times. The first thing I do is I come to my output and I change the label. All right, so I'm not quite sure what it's called in this machine, but I'm just gonna say it's the infeed roller cylinder. All right, then the next thing I'm looking at is the form of that cylinder. All right, just to see how, how accurate I am or build, my, build up some confidence in that, in that cylinder. The form here is about 70 thousandths of an inch. That is considerably high, but I'm going over a pretty big distance here. So if I was to question that, I might shoot all of those points again and see how repeatable I can make that form. 70 thou, I'm gonna live with that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a note on the other side too. If I get close to 70 thou, then I'm okay with it. But if I'm shooting over there and it's getting close to you know, like five to seven thou, then I might come back here and shoot this again. But truly, the form right there, I'm okay with that, 70 thou. And I will say, okay. You can see in my SAT file, I've got a cylinder that's been formed here. Mathematically, it's infinite. That center line is just infinite in size, but it's constructing it on my screen just a little bit longer than what I've measured. Now I'm still in cylinder mode, so I'm gonna to jump to this side as well and do that same operation. And I'm gonna be careful not to kick that tripod around. So I'll come to the front here. I'll shoot three points around the OD. There's three, no compensation on it. I'm gonna to walk to the back or further to the back here. And I'm gonna put three as, as well on there. Alrighty, then I'll come up to the middle and just put two on there. And then compensate. All right, first thing I do again, I'm gonna change the name a second. And what I'll do is I'll highlight this down arrow here and it tells me what the other side was called. So I'm gonna say, okay, let's call that the outfeed roller. All right, now look what I've got here. My form is actually seven thousandths of an inch. Okay, now there's a difference between right and left here. So what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna run back to this side and shoot it again, just to make sure that that 70 thousandths wasn't quite what I was looking for. So as I do that, I'm gonna say okay here, and then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna measure this side up. So why don't you guys take a quick break? I'm gonna test my numbers to make sure they're okay. And then once I find out what truly that cylinder is, we're gonna jump back into some constructed planes. 
Okay, I went back into my review features and I actually looked at the form of that cylinder and truly it does have a small dip toward the middle section of that. So that 70 thou is truly what I'm seeing. So what I want to do is continue on with this session to go into that constructed coordinate system. But what I'd like you to do too is be sure to check out the module where I go into review features and I'll look at the readings tab to show you where something could be out of form and by how much. Thank you.